Nasiri finally refutes the claim of abduction by Boko Haram, reveals who did it. I beg, we don't know who do am. Whether na Boko Haram do am, na bandits do am, or na whosoever, when, who, who, who do am. We know one who hear. All we just want to hear and see, say the, to these children, they don't, they don't bring them come back. I beg, enough of all this. All the time we continue to give excuses. This is not the time to give excuses. We want these boys back. Look at what happened in Boronu State the other time. For the three farmers, we are beheaded. These are people's relations. These are people relations. But what the president could say was the it, it was they did not take permission from the military. That is why they got killed. <laughs> oh my god. People people were killed. The the least you can do is to start blaming the dead of their deaths. Hello, let's wake up. Let's wake up and stop looking for how to cover our mistakes. Let's stop looking for how to cover our mistakes and pick up. This is not getting funny any longer. It's not funny. It's not funny. The insecurity issue in this country is no longer funny. And if we continue like this, <laughs> it's only God that knows what is going to happen to this country by the by the next coming two years. This is the truth. All of us who just they do like this, they look more, even to travel. Say you won't enter a car, they travel, you go they fear. Because you don't know what's going to happen to you for road. <laughs> we know say the road safe is not good. That one day, one side. But all these people, all these Boko Haram, ex men, they, they should, the government should do something no, about them. Oh, this, this matter not be matter. It's not a laughable matter. It's not funny. This is not where you want to come out to come and claim what you have done and actually is not being seen by anybody. Yes. You know? It was a heartbreaking news for parents of the missing students as the news of their children, uh, their boys, their missing boys spread across the country. Last Friday, some unknown government invaded a government science and technology secondary school in Kankara, Castina State, and scattered away hundreds of students. <laughs> Days after the incident took place, the governor of the Kassina State, Velo Masari, moved to the Nigerian president and briefed him about the whole scene and tabled that the kidnappers of the students have been negotiating with them. A few days ago, the leader of the well-known deadly Nigerian militant, Abubakar Shaku, released a four-minute video claiming that they are responsible for the adoption of the students. But on Wednesday, 16th of December, the governor of Castina has reflected the claim by Boko Haram as he said on Chinese television that the reports we have and from the information available to us, so this abduction was conducted and executed by the by local bandits that are known to all of us. He reveals that the local bandits carried out the operation. He said further that with regards to this abduction, we have not seen yet any direct involvement of Boko Haram or Isab. However, we are watching the development. Though the army force are still in testifying force to secure the release of the adopted students. <laughs> now, so we go the day. Now, like this, like this. The one they, the the one they adopted the uh, cheaper guests. We never still recovered all of them. Oh. Now, they don't carry Kankara boys. We don't want to know who take them. We don't want to know who adopted them. All what we want to know and see is the result. Please, just make us to be proud of you for once. And this is what Nigerians are saying. We don't want to know anything. Bring back these boys. 
their parents want to see them. It's not easy when someone's dog is killed. The people that owns do, that dog will feel the we feel the pain. Not to talk of human being. We are talking of human lives. Every life counts. But these days we found out that life does not actually mean anything again in this country. Life is no longer valued. People are being killed like fowl. Even chicken is more respected while killing them. Yes, the way Nigerians are being slaughtered every day by day. This is worrisome and disturbing. So the government should do something. It's not that today they will come, they will talk this. Tomorrow they will say this, you know, saying different, different things at a time. This is not going to help us. And coming to media to say everything, how are you going to fight insecurity when your mouth not they cover? You won't go carry water, you go come out media. You think say those people when they do the thing, they close eye, I be they they not they not do what